Hello and welcome, DCL fans. I'm here commentating the match between, what is this, Zom versus TJ, and uh, it's Fisherman versus Muse. Alright, so let me fill in the Terra preview. Let's see. What Terras uh, are these? It's TJ a water has... bolt and fire ring. So, water volk and fire ring. This is I... funny because both teams actually have the exact same Terra mons. <laughs> it's Ursa Luna, or not Ursa Luna, it's Ursa Ring and uh, Volcarona. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, wait, yeah. that. And then, oh, and then Zom has a uh, poison. poison. Poison on both. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it helps with Iron Valiant, I guess. Right? It gives you like more insurance for that. Yeah, Poison's <laughs> one of the best defensive typings against Iron Valiant, and it's also not bad necessarily against anything else on TJ's team. That yeah. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. The lead Huge. poison touch Sneasler. So lead kind of uh, kind of signifies it's not going to be SD on burden. So it's probably either choice band or choice scarf. Just in, you turned it forty five, leaning more so choice banded. That looks very banded, yeah. Yeah, especially because this bramble is probably fizzed up for the Garchomp. You'd imagine. Is he just yeah, that, uh, lead spikes though? Sense. It could just be lead spikes, and that might maybe isn't just banned. Cause yeah. what's the removal on Zom's team? It's you don't got none. Yeah, so you could just get a spike yeah. up here. I don't think Klefki has removal this gen. I think it does not. No. Yeah, so a spike lead makes sense. Poltergeist gets chip on the Garchomp and scouts the Yachi Berry, so that's good information and good chip. So that's nice. So what will Garchomp do here? Probably just uh, attack, right? There's no fairy type outside of Valiant, which you don't want to use up the booster necessarily as early. And I assume it will be booster because there's several setup threats. There's like a, a Volcarona that can Quiver Dance. There's a Garchomp that can scale shot. You'd expect... Oh, he does just go into it and isn't booster energy. Isn't booster. So which makes scarf? you think... Could be Scarf. Could be specs, maybe? Yeah, it could be specs. The fairy resists are not amazing. The fighting resists are even worse, though. Yeah, I think the fighting resists. Yeah, Close so combat. banded CC makes more sense than specs move yeah. last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. life work. Okay. okay. Interesting. Or that, that's, also, that's also fair. Just yeah. to... So this it's got will... a big off. Yeah, this will get you the 2-8 KO on Rotom, which uh, no item wouldn't be able to do. So that's a... Uh, Probably the reason for the life orb there, but Klefki is able to get the spikes up, forcing out the Valorant under the threat of T-Wave. When Bramble comes in, uh, this is Helmet Klefki, what will he do? Because spinning, you're just gonna die, right? Like it yeah, you'll eventually- Picks up the KO. Not a contact move, so... If TJ wants to switch out and come in on something slower, he can still get the spin off. I don't know, what? though. There's only two things you could spin on, which yeah, is kind the of... Rota Mursa. And you have to sack to get this in as well, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, or like call a facade if it's uh, offensive or Saluna. I keep saying yeah. Saluna. It's Ursa, Ursa Ring. Ring. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it, the bear. Yeah, I don't think you preserve this though, because the the U-turn's coming. Yeah, U-turn I, I don't really like that chip, and you risk the poison touch again. He's getting lucky on these poison touches, I'll be honest. Let's see, the Uxie really wants to get rocks up here. A crate think... did 42. Yeah, I don't think it'll be able to get rocks up, though. Is this, like, Scarf Sneasler, then, maybe? Because, like... I mean, that if you want to run the Calc, you can. I uh, could. I think but... it's probably still CB. Maybe, though. Maybe. I feel like 40... It... Yeah, if that's a crit, 20... 42... Yeah, yeah that's 28. Not. I think it is Scarf somehow. Scarf probably for revenging Booster Valiant and uh, QD Gold. Yeah. Makes sense. Now the Bug Buzz comes out. It's Spadef, uh, Ursa Ring on the side of TJ. And this is Terra Fire, so naturally you'd expect it to be the Volcarona check. Using the yeah. defense of Terra just in case Volt gets out of hand. Goes for the Yawn, but uh, this is a pretty free, free Volt switch. There's no ground type on the opposing side. 
Uh, Bramble doesn't even die to Hazard, so you can't block Volt that way. So yeah, a Volt is coming out. Mm-hmm. What does TJ do about that? Who's he Volt into if the Earth Ring stays in? Would it be a Garchomp? How healthy is the Garchomp? It's at 47. 47, yeah. You do know it's Yachi. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is like an Ice Punch angle or not. Uh, from TJ's side, it feels like a difficult click. Or he doesn't even Volt Switch, probably fearing Protect, just in case. Uh, fears the Protect blocking Volt, and then Rotom's asleep, and that's not good. Yeah. Okay, so you have the Bramble. All right, Rock's up. That's pretty big. So the yeah, Hazards that's... are a huge pressure here. Okay. The Valiant's going to be taking so much because of the spikes. Ursaring can't really switch in into the Volcarona anymore, so it, this is kind of difficult for TJ to navigate around. Yeah. You'd expect this Samurai to be Scarf the way he just brought it in right now. Uh, to pick off the Garchomp and also get up a spike. Makes mm -hmm. sense. The Dark Resists are not great. So nothing really wants to come in on the Seasless Edge. So it makes sense to me. Um, will the Garchomp be sacked here? I assume so, right? Like, legally you cannot risk your uh, Sneasler. Yeah, I don't think you can risk Sneasler here. So Garchomp sack does make the most sense. And then just going into Sneasler and just U-turning again. Yeah, the U-turns are brutal. Yeah, under the assumption this is Scarf, which I think it is the way he's playing it, so... Yeah, everything we can see uh, is screaming Scarf Sneasler right here. Yeah, and that was just like a lead max attack Bramble Gas, so yeah. that really did that much. And the Uxie's gone. It does get some yeah. helmet chip and the spike's up, so this Sneasler is taking chip. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily relevant damage. It's still going to be alive to do its job. What does TJ do versus Rotom? It's kind of a tough one. It is tough. Maybe you try to get damage on it. Or how 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 would what would TJ's win con be this game? The Sneasler outspeeds everything, which is very difficult to navigate around. Yeah. So he does just go Valorant trying to get the like last hit off. Yeah. And then maybe know. go into Volk and pick it off that way? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because the CC is doing a lot, as you can see. Yeah. Helmet. Rocky, Helmet, Fizz Def, Rotom. So that's mostly to punish Seasel's Edge. He also has the Helmet, Clef Gee. Um, So yeah, that makes sense. You don't allow Seasel's Edge to be a risk-free click. Alright, the Volcarona is in. Will he be going for game here? He can't Quiver Dance on this because, you know, it's Scarf, it'll outspeed, and 2 it KO, so... Really interested to see what Zom clicks here. Is he going to U-turn out Fish for Poison and then go Ursa Ring? Um, maybe it's like both Spadef Ursa Rings trying to take That makes the sense into the Volcaronas, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you can just Dire Claw, I feel like. Uh, he can't tear out of the Dire Claw weakness, or like neutrality anyways. You get a yeah. pretty high chance of Poison or some other status. Right, the Ursa Ring does come out, doesn't U-turn fearing Flame Body. Fiery Dance comes out. Gets the boost. Do you just uh, Terra Water here? I don't know. I think he ha- I feel like Terra uh, Water is a net positive. You don't really lose much by going Terra Water. You don't lose much. You don't really gain anything by tearing your Earth Ring as well. There's lose, rocks and spikes up. You lose the CC resist for the Scarf Sneasler. That could be a huge threat in the end game. But yeah, he's just going to go for it. Uh, yeah. Body, Body slam, slam comes out. No Para. No okay. Para. No but burn. Now, okay. now I'm pretty sure close combat just sweeps, no? Um, yeah, it looks like it. Maybe what TJ was trying to do with, like, the Valiant earlier was get chip on Rotom to maybe win with, like, Jet on Samurai, but, like, that's not enough damage at all. is kind of... We think it's Scarf, unless it's slow Garchomp, right? Yeah. So if it's Scarf Samurai, would you really want... Want Aqua Jet on it? I guess for the Volcarona, it makes sense. Just just in case, like, yeah, there's an unwritten Sneasler, maybe. Yeah, maybe Most a little of the bit time of chip you're... is nice. Yeah. There's also yeah, with... the uh, Flame Body Fish on the Sneasler. There is, yeah. He's plus two, so you kind of have to go Sneasler to Revenge. 
and close combat is like a pretty obvious click here. Not sure what TJ is supposed to do about this other than hope for a burn. Yeah, and even if it does doesn't burn, it, even if he does get the burn, like there is, it's an uphill battle, I think. Yeah, you still have to deal with the Volk. And you use the Terra, so you yeah. can't Terra fire your Ursaluna. I keep saying Ursaluna, man. I gotta stop yeah. that. <laughs> it's, it's Ursa Rain. Look, look, there's new Pokemon. It's yeah, yeah. fine. And there's old Pokemon, you know. I'm an old man, okay? Memory's Anyways. the first thing to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, Ursa Ring is sacked here. Wants to save the Volk. I guess he thinks that his Volk will beat the remaining two. And he wants to get the drop and maybe revenge with Aqua Jet here. So this yeah. is kind of screaming Aqua Jet. But this is also Samrot's last switch in, right? Um. No, it lives on one next hazard. So you could yeah, potentially like... Seasless Edge here. Get up another spike. Maybe get two spikes up. And then the Sneasler can't switch in more than one more time. And then you revenge with Aqua Jet. I don't know, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, um, hmm. You, you don't want to take the helmet chip against the Rotom. Oh yeah, the Rotom helmet chip is, right. like, really bad here. A double yeah. to Volcarona maybe on that, but again, that doesn't solve your issue. The Volcarona's at full, and we'll take the Aqua Jet if you lock into it to revenge the Sneasler. Yeah. And at this point, Burn Sneasler doesn't even matter. It's just the fact that it outspeeds the Volk. In the samurai. Yeah, I think TJ's just goobed here. Yeah, because you go Rotom here, you get the guaranteed helmet off. Samurai's in range of hazards, can't switch out and come back in. Yeah, yeah, the, the Rotom covers everything. Yeah, and that'll be game for sure. Yep. Kind of had to hope for the Sneasler to stay in and then Volk 1v2s, but it is not meant to be. Mm. He's just gonna volt Maybe. into Sneasler here. There's no out. Giga Drain. Surely it will die to CC, right? Yeah, okay. GG, Zom takes it, and uh, yeah. I think that's it for the video. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Our first SV game covered has the exact same two uh, Terra Mons, Volcron yeah. and what are the it's odds? Somewhat of a mirror matchup. There's a Valiant on one side though, and a Garchomp on the other. The Garchomp team won though, better. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how the Samurott team lost the Hazard War pretty badly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even having a spinner as well, like damn, bro. I mean, let's be real. That's a Bramble Gas. He, he's not spinning. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Hey, hey, he, yeah, he let's keep spin. it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> it's about personal ghost type. What do you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be all for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.